What if I told you that a simple challenge fueled by the desire to have more followers, likes, and even more thrills has claimed the lives of over 20 innocent people? These aren't just fun and harmless trends. Social media is extremely dangerous and you never know what it might promote. The challenge of today is called the Blackout Challenge and it's deadlier than what you might think. Hello, welcome back to another video. My name is Kendall and if you're new here, hello. My name is Kendall. As a quick warning, this video does get sad at some points as I will be telling a story that includes a young man passing away. If you do not want to hear about that story because it makes you uncomfortable or you're sensitive to the topic, that is completely understandable. And I will leave a timestamp somewhere up here that tells you when this story begins and when it ends. Without any further introduction, let's begin. Today's topic is something that definitely needs to be talked about. When we think about trends or challenges, we typically associate it with harmless dance videos or pranks or something. Unfortunately, there are many trends and challenges that are extremely unsettling and dangerous, and a lot of people don't realize that it's even there or even just simply overlook it. Together, we'll be diving deep into the world of the Blackout Challenge. It went viral on TikTok and has resulted in tragic costs. This challenge at first may not seem so bad, just an action that gives a quick thrill or rush, but the reality of the challenge is far more sinister. What's even more crazy is that when I was looking up these different challenges, the blackout challenge was at the top of the list for TikTok challenges. This is extremely dangerous considering the fact that over 20 people have passed away from the challenge, and these are just the numbers that we know about. Most of them are teens, even young teens, and all for the sake of a social media challenge. So you may be wondering what even is the blackout challenge? The blackout challenge consists of participants holding their breath or applying pressure to their neck or chest until they pass out or as the name suggests, blackout. It's supposed to give the participant a quick high or a feeling of euphoria. It seems to be a trend with a lot of the other dangerous challenges I have covered on this page. It's the attempt to get high without taking actual substances but the effects are just as tragic and just as dangerous. The devastating results of the blackout challenge is probably just as you would expect it to be. When you cut off oxygen to the brain, even for a couple seconds, the results can be tragic. The brain is starved of oxygen and results in a condition called hypoxia. I hope I'm saying that right. If I'm not, I will put the image up here, put the word up here. This can cause a multitude of things, including dizziness, shortness of breath, and brain cells that can even begin dying. For a lot of people, after passing out or blacking out, they wake up with simply a headache. But the risks are much worse if prolonged. It can lead to seizures, brain damage, and even death. At this point, I will be speaking about a couple stories of people that have passed away from this challenge. If you prefer not to hear about it, that is completely understandable. If you're sensitive to this topic, that is completely okay. And feel free to skip ahead. This is the story of Tristan. On December 6th, Tristan's mom left the house to complete some work, when all of a sudden she keeps getting these phone calls over and over and over again from her children. She doesn't know what's going on, so out of concern, she picks up her phone and is addressing the issue, when she hears the worst thing a mother could ever hear. Tristan is dead. Tristan is dead, her kids scream, and they pan over the camera to show their brother's face. The police were called and he was rushed to the hospital. The medical staff did what they could, but once he got to the hospital, he was officially pronounced deceased. The blackout challenge took his life. He was only 12 years old. His mom wants his story to be shared as a warning to other families to keep them from the loss. Unfortunately, this is not an isolated case, as another 12-year-old boy was found unresponsive in his bathroom. Medical staff did all that they could to save him, but he was also pronounced deceased. Or the case of a 14-year-old girl in Italy who was found by her parents, rushed to the hospital, and eventually passed away from the blackout challenge. This is a part of a growing list of tragedies. The dangers of this challenge lies in what could happen. But the concept of blacking out in and of itself is dangerous, even for a short period of time. There can be irreversible consequences, and even thinking about the people who had done this challenge and when they passed out, they hit their head and passed away from that. There are so many possibilities and none of them are good. This isn't just another trend. It's a life-threatening act that's being glamorized on social media. 
Platforms like TikTok have a responsibility to monitor the content that is being put on their page and taking it down. But oftentimes they are far too late and many people already will get hurt before the problem is actually addressed. Educating yourself, educating your friends, and especially the younger generation will be vital to help stopping these issues and stopping challenges like this from getting around and happening. Take some time off of social media today. Go for a walk. Drink some water because we both know you haven't drank enough. It was lovely seeing you in today's video. If I seemed a little bit upset, it's because I'm a little bit passionate about this. I'm like, what the heck? Like, so many people have actually passed away from this, but I'm getting off script. So I'm going to end the video here. And remember, don't try everything you see online. Bye!